Let us solve a question on cost minimization. The question is a producer has a production function that is q is equal to 5l to the power 1 upon 2 times k to the power 1 upon 2 where q is the output l and k are the units of labor and capital. If price of labor is 3 and price of capital is 4, find the units of labor and capital which produces an output of 200 units with minimum cost. Okay, so the question is actually about cost minimization. That means what we want to do, we want to minimize minimize our cost. We know cost is equal to wage rate times units of labor plus rental rate of capital times units of capital. Okay, so we want to minimize our cost and what is the wage rate here? Wage rate is actually the price of labor which is being given us as 3 and rental rate of capital is price of capital which is being given us here 4. That means we want to minimize this C is equal to 3L plus 4K. Okay, we want to minimize our cost given the production constraint and what is our production constraint this that is a 5 l to the power 1 upon 2 times k to the power 1 upon 2 should be equal to the output of 200 okay simple thing we want to minimize this cost subject to this production quota and graphically what exactly does this mean and let me try to draw a simple graph here okay let us say we have units of labor on horizontal axis, units of capital on vertical axis. Given, uh, you know, given the production or let us say we are being given the Cobb Douglas production function here. And let me use another color. Let us say we are being given this production function. We want to achieve this production quota with minimum cost. That means we want to minimize our cost in such a way. And cost will be minimized when this uh, the slope of the production function is equal to the slope of this uh, you know cost constraint. It will occur at the tangency between uh, the production quota or isocount and the cost constraint. Okay, so this is how we want to find out corresponding to this point what will be our labor and capital so that our costs are minimized okay so we will be using here Lagrange's method in Lagrange's method what we do first we form a function that is we call this as the objective function we write objective function that is 3l plus 4k plus we solve this production constraint. If I rewrite this here, I can write it in this form. That is 200 minus 5 L to the power 1 upon 2. K to the power 1 upon 2 is equal to 0. After that, if I multiply it by lambda, it will become 200 minus 5 L to the power 1 upon 2. K to the power 1 upon 2. Okay. Now, my Lagrange's function is formed by adding the objective function and this resulting constraint. Okay. So simply we have solved this production quota. Okay, we have uh, set it equal to zero first and multiplied it by lambda. Our Lagrange's function is the aggregate of this objective function and this resulting constraint. That means we have lambda. Uh, we have then 200 minus 5 L to the power 1 upon 2 K to the power 1 upon 2. This is our Lagrange's function rather. And let me rub this out. Now, first order condition for optimization, okay, first order condition for optimization means that we take the partial derivative of this Lagrange's function with respect to labor, capital and lambda, set it equal to zero and solve them simultaneously. And that exactly means we need to find the L subscript L, that means partial derivative of this function with respect to labor. Derivative of L is one, so we are left with three. Here derivative of l will be uh, l to the power 1 upon 2 we have it will become 1 upon 2 l to the power minus 1 upon 2 okay so we will get here minus 5 
फाइव इंटू वन अपॉन टू एल टू द पावर माइनस वन अपॉन टू के टू द पावर वन अपॉन टू एंड वी हैव द लेमरा यू कैन सी इफ आई टेक द पार्सल डेरीवेटिव ऑफ दिस फंक्शन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू लेबर आई विल गेट दिस स्टफ सेमेट्रिकली टेकिंग पार्शल डेरीवेटिव ऑफ द लैगरेज फंक्शन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू कैपिटल दिस टाइम डेरीवेटिव ऑफ के इज हियर वन सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद फोर देन वी हैव माइनस अगेन इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट इट इज डेरीवेटिव इज जीरो सो वी विल अगेन गेट माइनस फाइव इंटू वन अपॉन टू सिंस वी आर टेकिंग डेरीवेटिव विद रेस्पेक्ट टू के सो वी विल हैव के टू द पावर माइनस वन अपॉन टू एंड एल टू द पावर वन अपॉन टू विल रिमेन सेम एंड वी हैव द लेमरा हियर ओके so we take only two we don't need taking the derivative with respect to lambda here okay so we will solve these two equations first we set it equal to zero this also equal to zero and if we rewrite these two equations i can write it in this fashion that is uh, 3 is equal to transposing here it will become 5 upon 2 l to the power minus 1 upon 2 k to the power 1 upon 2 lambda and this equation implies 4 is equal to 5 upon 2 uh, k to the power minus 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2 lambda okay now let's divide these two equations so dividing here lhs with lhs and rhs with rhs okay so we have these two equations lambda lambda gets cancelled 5 upon 2 5 upon 2 gets cancelled okay so what we get here if i transpose this k to the power minus 1 upon 2 to the numerator its exponent sign will get changed okay so it will get multiplied with this k to the power 1 upon 2 simple thing we have k to the power 1 upon 2 in the numerator k to the power minus 1 upon 2 in denominator i can write this in this fashion that means k to the power 1 upon 2 transposing this it will get multiplied and exponent sign changes it becomes 1 upon 2 okay so we which implies 3 upon 4 is equal to k to the power 1 upon 2 k to the power 1 upon 2 symmetrically if i transpose this l to the power minus 1 upon 2 to denominator it will get multiplied with this l and exponent sign will change and we will get l to the power 1 upon 2 times l to the power 1 upon 2 which implies 3 upon 4 is equal to bases are so m powers can be added so 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 becomes 1 so we are left with k upon l which implies k is equal to 3 upon 4l okay now what we do we simply put the value of k is equal to 3 upon 4 is equal to l into this equation in this production quota that means we have 5 l to the power 1 upon 2 k to the in place of k we have this stuff that is uh, 3 upon 4 l to the power 1 upon 2 is equal to 200 so uh, we will get 5 l to the power 1 upon 2 we have 3 upon 4 uh, l to the power 1 upon 2 is equal to 200 l to the power 1 upon 2 l to the power 1 upon 2 it will become 5 l bases are same exponents add up to 1 here it is 1 upon 2 okay so 5 u l 3 upon 4 1 upon 2 is equal to 200 which gives us l is equal to okay it will become 200 transposing it will become 5 uh, if i transpose it will get reciprocated and it will become uh, under root 4 upon 3 here when you solve this it will come out to be 46 okay so units of labor that we need to employ uh, to get a production output of 200 with minimum cost is 46 now when l is equal to 46 we know that k is equal to 3 upon 2 l that means our k will be equal to 3/4 of l l is 
so it will come out to be 34.5 that means we need we need uh, 34.5 units of capital and 46 units of labor so that costs are minimized and we get a production output of uh, you know 200 that means units of labor will be equal to at the tangency it will be equal to 46 and units of capital 34.5 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you